Hello everyone, Chuck Roberto here again for the next installment of my top 50 chocks of all time. Uh, this time it is in the top 20, so it's at 20 to, um, 20 to 16 this time, so yeah, so not bad at all there. Um, hopefully you've been watching the others, if you haven't, go watch them. Um, <laughs> if not, um, um, well if you have, then yeah, welcome back, I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. So yeah, so on to the latest lot of these. Um, as usual, the old disclaimer, these are only chocks I reviewed, so um, you know, I'm not including ones that have been discontinued and things like that, even though they might be amazing. Um, I might really like them. Um, and yeah, I basically did this by just seeing which one I would prefer to have um, over the others. So sometimes, you know, right, there's room for all chocolate, of course, and certain days I might think, well, I quite fancy, you know, some other chili chocolate today, so I might go for something along those lines. Um, but generally, these are chocolates that I would say, right, I, I, the number one I would have, you know, if they're all in front of me right now, that's one I'd go for first. Um, you know, um, you know, assuming it's a, a typical day, you know, so that's that's basically how I've done it. But there are times where I might actually want number ten over, you know, number number five or whatever. So you know, it's not a definitive. I will always have that chocolate. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, I'm going to go to the specs and uh, let's have a look. So yeah, number twenty, uh, Cadbury's Flake. Yeah, so um, pretty much, uh, I think everyone will have tried this at some point. It's basically lovely Cadbury's chocolate in a sort of thin stick. Um, and it's called flake because it literally just flakes to pieces when you have it, it's all sort of little shavings almost somehow stuck together or you know presumably by just something like friction i guess i don't know <laughs> but um yeah when you bite it, it crumbles all over so you really need a plate for this it's really nice they did try and do some other um um they tried to tame it a bit by covering it in chocolate and they called it um what do they call it flake i can't remember they called it now actually it's just, it's left my mind um Anyway, yeah, they called it, uh, I can't remember what they called it now, they, they had some kind of name for it and I, I can't remember what it was called now. But then, um, yeah, essentially the flake dipped, I think it was actually, yeah, so it was covered, they had like a, a shell on it to cover it. Um, it was okay, but um, it was obviously a bit smaller than this and the other, and he did a white chocolate one called a snowflake, which is quite nice. Um, I think it was that, I mean, white covered in white chocolate and the inside was dark milk chocolate, or was it milk chocolate inside covered in white? Can't remember now, but it was um, yeah, that was very nice. But they don't do this anymore, so they won't be on this list. Um, but they were nice ones. Um, yeah, the flakes very nice. I'll say you will need a plate, um, but it's, it's it's really really nice, definitely. And um, yeah, better than the uh, Galaxy Ripple. Um, you know, Galaxy Ripple isn't on this top fifty. It's a nice chocolate. It was in the top sixty or something like that. But um, yeah, cabbage flake, lovely. Um, and from that, um, speaking of one that's kind of a dipped flake, the next one number nineteen is the Cadbury Twirl. Um, and this is a two-fingered bar of essentially two flakes really, but they're kind of a bit more solid. I don't know if they're covered in a chocolate. I think they're, I think they pretty much are like a flake covered really, but they're a lot, they're a bit thinner. Um, essentially, give you the same, you know, almost the same experience really, although slightly more convenient. Um, which is probably why they're a bit higher. You know, they're very similar. I think the flakes are a bit more flakier. Um, has that different texture, um, but generally I would probably go for a twirl over a flake just because of the ease of eating it. Really, it's a bit more easier and stuff like that. But they're both gorgeous bars, and do I like that? I think the twirl's probably a bit underrated. Um, hard to say. The flake does give you a lot more of a sensation. I'd say, um, yeah, it's very beautiful. They're both lovely, but yeah, number nineteen. Um, right, and the next one, number eighteen, another Cadbury's. Cadbury's a uh, dairy milk oat crunch this time. So it's a very odd. Bar compared to the usual dairy milk ones. I think that's probably because it's sort of the influence from the um, well, they sort of they, they share the same brands as a sort of um, as Milka now really. Cadbury, um, you might you might not be aware of, but basically all the big the big taste bars and this and the other, they're all essential ones to share with the Milka brand really. And that's been been a bit of a shame because all of the amazing Cadbury flavors that were around in the past about two years ago or so have just disappeared now. And there were some of them were really nice, like the Golden Crunch. Yeah, and that would have definitely been in the top 20 had it still been around. Unfortunately, it's not. Um, yeah, so a few of them gone. So we're left with ones like this. But and this one actually itself is really nice. It's kind of a, I guess it's cabbage chocolate. I'm hoping it is. But yeah, cabbage chocolate um, covered, um, in, in, covering like a sort of oat, oaty biscuit centre, really. So you've got these four segments that are constructed by the fact that the, the oat bit is kind of, um, the way the, I guess the way it's, the, the layers are formed or whatever, it forms sort of four sections and they're covered in uh, dairy milk chocolate. Um, it's a small bundle, but it's just really nice. It's just lovely crunchy. I just love the crunch of the oat biscuit and the thickness of the, the cabbage chocolate is very nice as well. It's um, well worth looking out for. It um, might be a bit underestimated when looking at it, but it's very nice. Um, do recommend that. 
Another Cadbury one, number 17, but not a Dairy Milk one. This one's Double Decker, or Decker Double if you have it upside down. <laughs> um, and it does make a difference, trust me. Um, yeah, really, you know, it's probably not as big as it used to be, but it's still a big bar, um, very substantial. I think the top half is kind of like a soft nougat-y bit, and the bottom half is a crunchy, biscuity bit, and covered in milk chocolate. It's a lovely bar, really thick. You really, you, you feel like you're getting substantial chocolate bar with this one. Um, I say you can flip it upside down, it's a Deco Double then, and, you, and it does taste different, um, strangely. Um, it's worth doing, give it a try. Um, lovely bar, that one. Um, I would have thought, you know, I'm surprised at myself it's not higher on the list actually, and it just goes to show the actual quality of the of the top 20 bars at that one, and even the flake, um, you know, not higher than this. So, yeah, there's some gorgeous bars still to come. Um, one of which, number 16, it's another Carl Faser one, Finnish brand. Um, this, this one's uh, Faser's uh, Red Berries in Milk Chocolate. Um, red Berries being, I think, raspberry, uh, cranberry, um, and cherry, I think. Could be wrong, but um, yeah, look, I'm not generally a fruit fan in chocolates. I'm not a big fan of raisins and sultans and things. Fruit and nuts, you know, day not fruit and nut, I will stay away from. But these Faser ones are so nice. They really are full of lovely flavour, and um, I don't know. Blow my mind these chocolates, they're so good. Um you'll find that you know there's still more to come of these in this top top twenty, so um yeah, uh, they, but these are really nice. It's lovely, lovely flavours, um, lovely textures of the of the say the fruity bits. They're kind of done in a very clever way. They don't I don't know, just the just the the, the sizes of all the seg pieces in there are just lovely and the flavours are gorgeous. I, you really gotta try them. This is one of the bigger bars, the two hundred gram bar or whatever it is. Um yeah, definitely check it out. Gorgeous bar. And as I say, if I've had, if me who's not a fruit and chocolate fan or a nut and chocolate fan, and I've rated this higher than the double decker, you know, it must be good. So give it a try. <laughs> okay, well that concludes this list. This top, uh, this uh, well top, well where were we now? Yeah, so it's twenty to sixteen. So it includes that one. Um, so join us next time for fifteen to eleven. And then we're into the top ten after that. So we're getting there. <laughs> um, yeah, hope you like the list. Let me know what you think. If you disagree or agree, let me know. Um, if you missed anything you think should be on the list, let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Subscribe, like my videos, um, get in touch, do other stuff, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See ya.